Do not improvise moving overseas. I left my home country, the United States, over 17 years ago. I've learned hundreds of things by trial and error. I've lived in 68 countries. Myself and other expats have horror stories that have cost them years and thousands of dollars in mistakes. The truth is, if you have a year or more of time before you leave home to watch six to nine hours per day of YouTube videos from expats like me, you will learn about 95% of everything that can go wrong living overseas. But have you heard of the 80-20 rule? You can get 80% of that knowledge in 20% of the time. So if you don't have a year or your time is too valuable, you might want to consider taking a course from someone that has a systematic process in place to cover these topics. Now, I don't personally know 100% of the ways expats have been screwed overseas. I doubt anybody does. And I can't cram everything I know about avoiding getting screwed overseas into this eight minute video. So I'll just share five examples, big ones, and then tell you where to get hundreds more in hours of your time instead of weeks or months. Do not improvise moving overseas. So here are five ways to avoid getting screwed in your new life overseas. Don't improvise banking. Open banking accounts at two different unrelated banks in your home country. Set up online internet banking at both unrelated banks. Also set up two-factor authentication on your smartphone to maintain internet access to both banks. Why? It has taken some expats up to 30 days to receive lost or stolen ATM cards overseas. You need a way to fund your life if one set is lost or stolen while living overseas. So keep them separate, of course. This is just one of the things we teach in our international banking reports that is mission critical to your new life. Don't improvise picking retirement locations. Do not make a final decision about where you're going to retire overseas while you're sitting on your couch browsing YouTube videos without first doing exploratory site visit. Do not sell everything you own in your home country and move somewhere you've never been without doing an exploratory visit. Shortlist the most likely places based on the retirement livability factors you develop in our Retire Overseas course. Then put your feet on the ground and verify the cost of the lifestyle you'll choose and see how it feels living in your top destinations before making any permanent decisions. Don't improvise the budget you set. When you do your exploratory visit, you'll be setting a budget based on your projected retirement income and expenses. But when you first move overseas, things are often so much cheaper than your home country, you'll be like a kid in a candy store. Some expats end up in budget denial as they spend their emergency savings too fast. You have to set budget alarms so you can make adjustments before going past the point of no return. You don't want to have to come home early with your tail between your legs and prove everyone right that doubted you. You need to learn and stick to the process taught in the course. Loose lips sink ships. Keep your mouth shut about what your pension, savings, and other assets are. Just be humble. Just be a humble person. You don't want to become a target. This is especially true for single men who think they'll get a hotter foreign woman if they brag a little. Loose lips sink ships. Don't play big man on campus. When you move overseas to one of these retired cheap in paradise location, there's a good chance when you first arrive that you actually will be in better financial shape than many of the locals you meet overseas, even though you don't have much to brag about back home. They will assume you're rich and they'll expect you to keep picking up checks if you start picking up checks. It is better to just play a normal guy than to let your ego get pumped up and become everyone's ATM machine. Once you start with the loose lips, it'll be hard on your ego to go back and play normal guy. Don't put your roots down too deep or too soon. Even after doing an exploratory visit and moving overseas, don't put your roots down too deep or too soon. How you will feel about a place after living there for one or two years is not the same as you'll feel during the honeymoon period. So don't buy real estate too soon. Don't put money in foreign banks too soon. Don't invest a bunch of money in a business too soon overseas. Don't put a bunch of money uh, in foreign investments too soon. Leave your money in your home country banks. Just rent for the first few years and see what it feels like after a few years. Expats don't always take 
to the first country they live in overseas. And you don't want to try to liquidate a bunch of assets you created with deep roots in one of these foreign countries. Assets and investments overseas are probably not as liquid as they are in your home country. So wait until you know the lay of the land before digging down deep with your roots in a new country. Now I'm not a genius and I don't know everything, but if you start your overseas journey knowing the other hundreds of things I know, you'll have a much better chance of moving happily overseas than just trying to improvise on your own. But don't take my word for it. Come watch lesson one of the Retire Overseas course for free. If you're curious how I help people get to 80 to 90% of the knowledge they need to know to avoid getting screwed in overseas retirement, go watch lesson one of my Retire Overseas course. In the course, I explain all of the resources I provide you with to retire overseas. Plus, I explain what topics are covered in the other six lessons of the course. So go to vacuumonbuddha.com, click on the Courses tab, and then click on the Retire Overseas course. Then watch Lesson 1 for free for a better understanding of what I cover in the course.